Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today we're checking out an awesome little cinema setup for under $300. Whether you really want a small Blackmagic cinema camera or small little cinema package but can't afford it, or if you already have a camera system and you like the idea of having a second camera, maybe something really affordable that you can kind of knock around and capture some cinematic footage with but not risk your expensive camera, this setup is awesome. I have loved using it, tearing around filming my son without worries of an expensive camera getting left all over the place. And we're gonna go over the setup and talk about this awesome little lens camera combination. So let's start with the camera. The camera I chose for this cinema build, if you will, was the Canon EOS M. This camera is a couple years old. It has an APS-C sensor, so you're getting something you would find in like the original 7D, T3i, cameras of that nature. So it's a larger sensor, which is awesome, but in this tiny, cute little body. The other great thing about the EOS M is the cost. I found several on eBay for under $200. I paid about 180 for this one right here. So I'm assuming you'll be able to find one for at least $200 on the high end and probably something much more affordable than even that. The other awesome thing about this camera is you can load cine style on it, which will give you a great kind of flat log-ish looking photo style. But what's also really exciting is you can load magic lantern on this tiny camera, giving us things like raw video recording capabilities, waveforms and other scopes, built-in time-lapse capabilities, cross and anamorphic de-squeezing, audio levels and other exposure controls all in this great little camera and I've really enjoyed playing with it. So that is the camera system. What about the lens? Well, recently I did a video on three C-mount lenses. Uh, in that video I talked about how they work great for Micro Four Thirds and the Sony E-mount, but guess what? They also work great with the ESM mount. So the lens we're using right here is a 35 millimeter f1.6. The reason I chose this lens is it has a pretty uniform uh, thread size at the front, allowing us to add any filter we want. And of course, going down to f1.6 is pretty awesome. So check out that video I did on C-mount lenses. You'll learn about this lens as well as three other great options. So I bought this lens off of Amazon. You can also find it on eBay, and you can pick it up with an EOS M adapter for around $30, $36. The rings on this lens are very smooth and it has a de-clicked aperture ring as well, which is great for video. So that brings us to the filter. This is optional, but with a really cheap step-up filter going from 37 to 52, we're able to add an ND fader on here, which is awesome if you're going to be outdoors filming. And uh, we'll look at some footage here in a second, but I did a lot of that, slapped that on there, and I was able to shoot in broad daylight without any problems. Image quality was amazing to me, considering we're looking at a 250 or less dollar setup using the camera and lens. And I was really happy with it. With Magic Lantern, it's so much easier to check your exposure and uh, view your audio and all that good stuff. So definitely check that out if you're gonna pick up this setup. I filmed a lot with my son, which is probably a terrible idea because filming with manual lenses with a shallower depth of field is always really taxing when you're trying to film a toddler tearing around. But it did work and um, I really love this setup for just walking around casually shooting cinematic footage. I don't need to bring out an A6500 or tear anything down here in the studio. I can just grab this little puppy and run out with it. Now all the footage I captured was just with the camera and the lens. You will notice that this camera doesn't have image stabilization, so it's going to be somewhat uh, difficult to keep stabilized, but I think it looks pretty good um, considering I had nothing attached to it. Now, if you wanna take the setup a little further, there's some other accessories you can always purchase that will help stabilize the camera, and all this stuff will be usable on future cameras that you may purchase or your camera system you may have right now. So what I have here, and I really enjoy this small little setup, is a cage that's actually designed for the A6500, A6300. I did have to cut a piece of it off so that I could access the battery 
and the SD card compartment. But as you can see, it almost looks like it was made for this camera. Just a great little small setup. And you can get a top handle separately or with the cage. Um, this one is awesome because it just slides right off if you don't want to use it and strip it down to a nice tiny little cinema package. You could also pick up a side handle if you want to really stabilize your handheld footage. And SD cards for this camera are around 10 bucks and batteries around $15 for two. The last thing I might consider looking into is just a really cheap, small handheld tripod. This makes this setup a great little time-lapse camera. You can set it down on a table or on the ground somewhere and just let it go crazy and film a video time-lapse. So with Magic Lantern, this is a killer little setup and I just have loved it for under 250 bucks. Um, is it gonna be the greatest image quality ever? No, but I mean, come on guys, seriously. Look, look, look how cute. It's just this little tiny, little itty bitty baby cinema camera. So anyway, um, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions and check out the uh, description where you'll find links to all this stuff. Um, let me know if you have something similar to this and if you have an ESM, if you have any tips for other shooters as to how to best use it. Otherwise, make sure you hang around for future videos like this. I'm going to be doing a lot of budget camera lens combos like this in the future. So stick around for that and hit subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, you watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.